Hello and welcome to this video lecture on the subject of thermodynamics. Now in the previous video lecture we actually studied about some very basic and fundamental uh, concepts about the subject and with this video lecture we would start defining or we would start studying the various laws in the subject of thermodynamics and the starting point is to study about the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Now zeroth law of thermodynamics is a law which defines temperature. Now temperature can be defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Okay, degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Now if I have two bodies, let us say let us say we have two bodies this is body a okay this is let us say body one and this is body two let us say body one is at 100 degrees celsius and body two is at 50 degrees celsius now when these two bodies are brought into physical contact okay so what would happen the moment they come into physical contact now these two bodies can be of different materials they can even exist in different states of matter now when they come into physical contact what happens the temperature of this higher temperature body would start to reduce and the temperature of this body would start to increase okay and there will be a point after some time when the temperature of both the bodies is same that is T1 is equal to T2 now when this condition is attained it is referred to as thermal equilibrium okay now this is thermal equilibrium now with the help of thermal equilibrium now let us try and define the zeroth law of thermodynamics here I have body A and I have body B and I have body C okay let me say that body A and body B are in thermal equilibrium that is the temperature of body A is equal to temperature of body B and now separately these two bodies that is A and C are also in thermal equilibrium that is T of A is equal to T of C now automatically there will be a thermal equilibrium condition that will exist between these two bodies as well okay so if we were to define the second uh, zeroth law then if t of a is equal to t of b and temperature of a is equal to temperature of c then temperature of B is equal to temperature of C so to can make it concise if this is true and this is true then this would also be true so this is a very simple definition of what is the zeroth law of thermodynamics and with the help of this law we are able to measure temperature so this is the basis of temperature measurement now moving ahead on this slide I have mentioned you know different kinds of thermometers 